Community as we head to the weekend, CBS 42 Chief Meteorologist Mark Prater here now with the details. August has not disappointed yet. No, it, I love the heat though. Yeah, it's it's quite intense in some spots, and with heat index values, obviously that's where we have the concern, and that's why there has been a heat advisory issued until about nine o'clock. A couple of uh, weather headlines for you. As I mentioned, that heat advisory, but storms remain widely scattered, and it's going to be a very hot week ahead for our area especially with heat index upwards of 105, 110, maybe even 112 in a few spots. All of the counties, though, you see highlighted in orange. That is where we have the heat advisory, and that is mainly west of I-65. And if you look at what's going on across our area right now, it's a little cooler thanks to some of the rain which has been passing through Tuscaloosa County as well as Shelby and Chilton counties where we're looking at numbers into the upper 80s and low 90s. But this is the money right here. This is what it feels like. 106 now in Jasper, 104 in Aliceville, and we've got numbers like this for the next several days to come. There are a few showers that have been passing to our south, but then we've got these thunder showers or rain showers that have been popping up and they are just popping up and raining out very quickly. One just now developing in northern or northeastern Shelby County and then back into Tuscaloosa County south of Brent as well as back over into uh, south of Reform near Aliceville and Pickens County. And I wanted to show you something that this is really interesting. When we talk about boundaries. Watch that green line that continues to slide towards the south. That is a boundary and when this merges with that boundary, watch what happens right there. Those thunderstorms just push up. The atmosphere is just shoving all the air up. We see thunderstorms develop. That's why we've got thunderstorms or thunder shower right now, roughly around Hamilton, stretching back over towards Winfield. And that will continue to slide towards the south at about 45 miles per hour. So overall, we will see most of the rain moving into northern Fayette County if it can hold together. But what you see out towards the west, that is dropping due south, but may actually clip Lamar County. Temperatures throughout the night tonight. It's going to be hot. It's going to feel like August. And across our area, we're just not going to get much in the way of change. But then the chance of a shower or a thunder shower popping up again tomorrow. And we'll do it all over again for our Friday as well. So for tomorrow, not much different than what we've had today. We now have Earl the Hurricane, which is a Category 1 hurricane. Winds at 75 miles per hour. It is on a B line headed right towards Belize and the forecast model data. Well, it all shows that is the track, so this system will not have a chance to make its move towards the north. Will we start to see some of the moisture associated with it somewhere down the line? It's always possible, but it looks like this system will actually start to make its move across Mexico and really get disrupted because of the mountain range across the center of that country. Temperatures starting to head into 95 to 97 degree range. Only a 30% coverage of rain Saturday. We'll see about 40% coverage. Same for Sunday, but the heat, it hangs around. While those numbers don't look too bad, remember the humidity levels will be very high, and we are talking about heat index values upwards of 110 to 112 in 